guys today it's friday and we will be making beef noodle soup so here we are preparing the stock so we already put all the ingredients here um this is garlic this is um beef stock so we put two cinnamon stick one star anise six cloves of garlic one piece ginger peeled and thinly sliced and salt and pepper and we put water and beef uh, bouillon so now it's boiling we have to boil this for a few minutes like maybe 30 minutes so the flavor will put together and while we are preparing that while we are waiting we are slicing the beef very thinly and then we have pepper we have soy sauce we have um, crushed pepper ginger garlic salt and our korean fresh noodles since it's friday we would like to prepare something very special so now my daughter is making it and she is now doing the uh, slicing we are using the angus uh, beef because this is a very yummy and um, uh, kind of beef so we selected this kind of uh, uh, part of the beef meat uh, you don't have to yeah very nice we can wait to to try your first beef noodles recipe okay just follow this how you cut you can cut the way um the way you like it and this is um our uh, preference So in our stock, we will not be putting a lot of star anise because um, my youngest daughter um, is not is not a fan of star anise. So we will just be putting maybe just one, just to to add some flavor. But um, yeah, we have to adjust our preferences. Here you go. looks really yummy already and we will continue slicing this okay this is a very good part of the beef you should try this um, you can also use um, beef spare ribs or this kind um, whatever you like but uh, this is what uh, we like to use today so it's less fat and it's flavorful when you eat you can have this as a steak or you can have this um, uh, in your noodle soup or uh, we normally use this to make our tapa as well like beef papa you just have to marinate with a soy sauce put lemon salt pepper marinated overnight and then the next day you can fry it and it tastes so yummy with the fried rice so we're almost done cutting this uh, beef angus uh, meat and then while waiting for our stuff to boil Soon we will be boiling our noodle soup. This 
what we have this is a korean fresh noodles and i think this is so uh, good this kind of product it's a uh, fresh here you go yeah Remember guys, making beef uh, noodle soup is a very easy um, kind of recipe. Everyone can simply, you know, put all the ingredients together. You can just, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, you can boil the stock ahead of time. And this kind of meat is very tender as well. It's very easy. You don't have to cook it uh, for a long time. Um, that's why we choose this and um, yeah so we're almost done okay so now we're finished cutting the meat okay we have to check our boiling stock looks so yummy smells so good okay let's cover it okay so now we are washing the the meat and we have to make sure that it is uh, washed properly and then here while waiting we have these ingredients uh, prepared this is very simple ingredients so what we are going to do is once we pour we put the the, the soup in the bowl uh, with the noodles you can simply add um, garnishes you can simply add onions scallion um, parsley whatever you like or you can also add um, boiled eggs in that recipe so okay so you have to make sure that your countertops is also clean so if you can see i am just going to um uh put it upside down and we put a cover under and then you can use the other side I am very hungry already okay Okay, so what are we going to do next is now um, the the meat is clean we will be putting a little bit of soy sauce okay Next, we are chopping the garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Just follow this um, instruction, guys. So, uh, it's not very complicated. Very, very simple way of cooking the Korean beef noodle soup. Okay, now we are peeling the garlic. You have to chop the garlic thinly. You have to be very careful when using the knife. Okay, so okay. Okay. 
Okay, now you have to place it in the meat. Now we have to cut the ginger. You have to peel the ginger first. My daughter is doing a great job. This is her first time making beef noodle soup. So as she grows, she needs to learn how to cook. Um, I'm trying to teach her so she will not be starved. <laughs> and she is doing well. She is a good chef. She is really good in baking, but this time around, she needs to learn how to cook as well. Like dishes, she's tried making um, chicken teriyaki already, and it was so yummy. So flavorful and delightful, and everybody in the family enjoyed. And that's why we keep asking her to, to cook again for us, because... She is such a good um, cook. Okay, now after you slice the, the ginger, after slicing the ginger, we are going to place it in the meat as well. Okay. Right. Next. Next we are going to put we are going to put um black pepper salt. So this kind of um pepper I, I found it in the Korea <clears throat> I found it in the Korean market and it's really good, you know, especially when you are eating um noodle soup. So she is going to mash this and it smells so good that pepper, you know mash to mix the flavor the soy sauce the ginger and garlic together okay and then she's going to wash her hand Every time you um, touch the meat, you always have to make sure that your hands is clean when you are touching other things too. Um, you don't want to have to get a salmonella in the meat. So make sure your countertops are clean before you prepared all your ingredients. When you are ready to cook, make sure that everything is clean. Right? Okay, now she is checking the stocks that is boiling. And we are re we are ready to uh the boil to boil the the noodles. Um here in the noodles, I think this is quite a lot. So maybe we're just going to do uh maybe 3 3 of this. We're not going to finish this because it's um it's so much. And we don't want to waste it like the last time we you know I cooked noodles and it was um, it was um, uh, too much so and it's not good when you are um, keeping the noodles uh, in the in your refrigerator the next day so it's best that it is um, uh, cooked and um, eat fresh with that kind of noodles okay so we tried this kind of noodles many times and it was really uh it is really good this kind of um, product you can find this in the korean market or asian supermarket okay so i think maybe only three it's 
if we're gonna put this all together it's gonna be too much now she is also cleaning her mess so our tips to you when you are cooking when you are waiting for something boiling marinating um on your free time um clean as you you know as you finish uh, using your utensils or other other things in on the table so that you know like after you you are done cooking you have only a few messes to to clean so that's what i do every time and um it, it helps me and it saves your time <clears throat> Okay, so now we have to, we are boiling the water, uh, we are waiting for the water to be boiled, and then once boiled, we are placing this uh, noodles in the pot. Okay, while I'm waiting for my daughter, I just want to show you the Christmas lanterns that I made today. So, this, I, I put the uh, Christmas lights on the lantern and it looks really, really pretty. Um, you guys, it's Christmas now, almost here. And we are all busy preparing for our Christmas gatherings. Very simple um, celebration this year. And I hope that, you know, you guys are, are um, staying in your, in your home. And, um, um, you know, as we know, this pandemic is not over yet. And we have to be safe. So if you have plans um, in doing your celebration, just please stay at home and celebrate with your family. This is the, the opportunity to stay with your family, have fun and celebrate with them and uh, peacefully. And um, please do not go out so we can, you know, cooperate each other and, you know, um, try our uh, frontliners to be safe as well. So they can also go home to their families and um they can also spend their christmas and new year so there will be no um you know not a lot of um um patients in the hospital so let's all be cooperate each other and um christmas this year is different from the past years and we are we all know that um uh all we have to do is just cooperate and help to one another and stay safe to to all and you know we we don't have to go out in our house to buy things that are unnecessary so if you are going out um, make sure that you are buying your stuff you know just one at you know one time and you can have all your your stuff that you needed for your house your gifts and everything so just to avoid going out every single day so right now I'm still waiting for my daughter and um, she is uh, preparing um, the noodles I will be showing it to you soon and here is our Christmas tree our simple Christmas tree this year um, it's it's different from other Christmas tree out there but we love our tree um, it's very simple and looks uh, joyful to see and here on this side is our little pet Gobi um, Gobi is our hamster and um, he is the nicest hamster um, pet um, out there so we love him right now he is sleeping i think yes he is inside the box our improvised um home for gobi this is his drink his play pen here he 
he is very very good and he didn't give us a hard time you know um taking care of kobe so he is very cooperating with us and we love that so my daughter loves and spoiled kobe a lot yeah so i believe uh, my daughter is ready to do her is it boiling already not yet okay we have to wait for a little bit i'm not cutting this video and i will show you the whole process so you will know what to do and um you will see that making this noodle soup is very very easy so I think your water is you don't have enough water I think because it's simmering see get a little bit now no. it's okay <laughs> all right she said it's okay she has a different technique in making this uh, noodle soup. Okay. The stock is boiling. Should we boil um, egg or no need? No need, right? Maybe later. Okay, let's check the water on this side. Not yet. Put the the heat high in high while you are boiling the water. How long did you um, boil this stuff for like 25 minutes already this one ah, one hour yeah you have to boil the stuff for like one hour so there you go this is going to be our soup stock Okay, so this is not ready yet we have to wait for a little bit and also the boiling water is not ready so let's come back for maybe uh, five minutes okay so let's go back here and wait <laughs> Mm. 
by the way guys i would like to say thank you um to all my 480 subscribers um um bear with me and uh and thank you so much for um for watching and staying in my uh, channel and we will try our best to uh, to do a lot of videos and once um, travel is safe we can go out and make some vlogs about our travels as well I will be uploading that in my channel so we can share it to you where we're going how we experience the, the places that we are visiting and um, we can really wait to to do this and i know that a lot of people out there is um is very inspired with with um with many many videos in the youtube channel right now um youtube channel give us um a lot of help in you know when it comes to to um to relaxation you can just simply watch the video you like search um in youtube and not only that also netflix as well it's really good that's the like those channels that we really like um using to watch videos as well it's um in 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 our um in my channel uh uh at first um i i think of um uploading only a video about how to cook but later on, I realized that I think it's best to share um, experiences as well, especially traveling. Um, a lot of people like watching travels, vlogs, so we can wait to do that. And